Hey there everyone and welcome back to the WordPress series. Now, this is not a video where we discuss something about WordPress. Yes, technically it's about the WordPress, but it's not actually learning something. It is about dealing up with some of the issues uh, that you will be facing if you have installed the WordPress on the local host. Okay, now if you're following along with me, uh, with me in this series, uh, you have installed a WordPress on your local host and you might be facing a couple of issues which are really, really common with the latest updates on the XAMPP. I have been hanging around on the Apache Friends page and the discussion forum for quite a long time and I am aware that these are situations and I'll tell you how we are going to uh, deal with that. First of all, what is the situation? Now the first situation is you cannot add any uh, images or you cannot actually update any kind of thing here. Like for example, if I just look for the all post and go up here and maybe you want to add some media to your things. Obviously the obvious thing is to click on add media and you might want to drag and drop something here. Now I have this lovely image which I have just designed in Canva, uh, which is my first post. By the way, canva.com is a free resource I uh, often use to design and edit all of my images. So there we go. And even if I drag and drop this image, it will not take this image uh, just because it was not able to create these directories and folder because of the permission issues. This is not the only issue since our WordPress on the localhost doesn't have enough permission to create folders or add some files. It will also not be able to create the folders like test and upgrade. And in resultant of to this, when you'll go on to the dashboard and will try to hit the update, and even if you'll try to update uh, from a WordPress version X to Y, it is going to give you a problem. For example, if I just hit there uh, and update, it is uh, first of all going to ask you for the host name and the password and all these things. And even if you try to proceed further, uh, somehow you have figured out the username and password, it will not allow you uh, to create a folder name at test and uh, the name temp, T-E-M-P, sorry, T-M-P, temp there and a folder named as upgrade. Without this, your theme or your plugin cannot be upgraded. Okay, okay, there are a couple of uh, situations by which you can actually handle that. And let me just show you that even if you have launched your LAMP here, and let's just say you are technical geeky into the Linux world, you have went into the ETC, and you have opened up this pro FTPD config file, and let me open that in up uh, in my uh, sublime text there open that up and there we go if I open that up uh, you'll see there are options here where from which you can actually do that but again uh, why am I telling all of you this the number one reason I'm telling you this because as instructor I feel that my job is not to just teach the thing my job is to teach the things in such a fluid and easy manner that everybody should be shouting hey that was damn easy and uh, somehow this is not possible in this particular case. I have to throw up a command like chmod and explain your permissions, which will deviate us from the topic of learning WordPress. So as a solution, what I present to you here is just ignore all of these updates and adding up the things into the WordPress on a local host website as of now. And later on, we will be moving on to a real actual domain where we'll be learning how to install these WordPress, how to add images, and how to update all of these things in plugins. Very soon, we'll be moving up there. And these things are not even an issue onto a real web server. Right now, due to some like non-thoughtful updates in the XAMPP, these issues have been created, but they are actually good for us. Okay, so this video is just to tell you that yes, these are issues, I am aware of them, and you don't need to worry much about them. As of now, let's just learn as much as possible on the local host, and then we will be moving our entire work onto an actual website, actual web server, and I'll walk you through with the process of installing uh, a WordPress website on a real server, as well as how we can add plugins and images there, and as well as how we can configure the entire website as kind of a real job for a client, okay? So this was the only thing I wanted to convey to you uh, through this video. So don't worry, I, I am here to take care of everything. Don't worry, just keep on moving. And now let's just go back and carry on with our actual learning stuff of WordPress.